So this is the YOLO V7 tiny model converted into Tensor RT engine working perfectly fine on Jetson Nano. Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. So in our previous video, we discussed how we can convert a YOLO V7 pre-trained model into a Tensor RT engine on Jetson Nano. Now in this video, we are going to focus on a custom trained model. So I have basically trained a custom YOLO V7 tiny model on this particular video. So this is a video of the toys and I've extracted images from this video and then I've trained the YOLO V7 tiny model. And this is the model which I have. This is a bash.pt file and this is how the results look like. So you will notice that this roller is getting detected. This car is also being detected and then this phone is also being detected perfectly fine. So in this video, what we are going to do is that we are basically going to convert this custom YOLO V7 tiny model into a Tensor RT engine and then we will run this on the Jetson Nano to see how it performs. So let's get started. So before we start this video, I just want to give a big shout out to one of the guys I was discussing on how you can convert YOLO V7 into Tensor RT. I actually tried converting YOLO V7 Tiny into Tensor RT a lot of time, but I was having few issues with the boundary box and some other issues. So this gentleman on my last video actually commented and suggested that to try out the config files from the deploy directory. So when I retrained it and converted it back, it worked perfectly fine. So what basically you need to make sure is that when you are training your YOLO V7 seven custom model instead of using the so instead of using the files from this directory training directory you need to make sure that you are using the files from the deploy directory so what I did I actually used this particular uh, YML file in my training and then and then when I converted the model into tensor RT it worked perfectly fine on the Jetson Nano now let's get on with the video Okay, so what I've done is that I have copy pasted my, where is the file? Uh, okay, so yeah, so I've copy pasted this bash.pt file. This is a custom YOLO V7 tiny model. And then now let's start the conversion process and we'll convert this into the TensorRT engine. Now I will simply again open the buildstep.ht file. And again, if, if you don't know already, so this is the, the Jetson YOLO V7 TensorRT repository. You can clone this repository. The link is given in the description and you can, you know, follow this repository to convert your YOLO V7 models, pre-trained or custom model into the TensorRT engine. So I'm just going to run the first command, which will help me convert my PT file into the WTS file. So I'm just going to name it as wbash.wts. Okay, so if we now look here, so our bash.wts file is now generated here. Now next thing what we need to do is that we need to move inside the YOLO v7 directory and then here we will create a directory build. Then we will move inside the build directory and then we will copy our bash.wts file here. Now before we can run the cmake or make command, we have to update the config file and here because we are not using the pre-trained model so we are using our custom model so i will rename this to three and then let's go to the terminal and here let me just close this file so here we will simply run cmake And now we will simply run make command. Okay, so the make command is also complete. Now we can simply run this command to generate our TensorRT engine file. So let me just clear this sudo dot slash yolo v7 minus s bash dot wts bash dot engine and then I'm just going to use T because it's a tiny model and let's wait for it to build successfully. Perfect. So the engine file is now successfully built. Uh, so at this point, if you want, we can directly test this using the images files, but we don't have the images for our custom model. So what we are going to do is we are going to directly uh, test this on the video file so i have also pasted here the toys.mp4 which i trained for and uh, let's open the app.file and let's rename 
let's rename here and let's mention the toys.mp4 let's close this now because this is a custom uh, model so what we need to do is we also need to update the yolo detection.py file so let me just open this and i'll explain you so here you will notice that we have self.categories so we need to comment this out because these categories are from the pre-trained model and we don't have a pre-trained model we have a we have our own custom model so we need to write our classes here so the classes which we have is roller and then oops car and then phone so this is the important step which you need to make sure when you are uh, doing I mean inferencing over the custom model please comment out these default categories which are mentioned here and mention your categories which you have now we can simply close this and then we can run this app.file so now let's run our app.py file okay so I think we also need to okay so we also forgot to rename our engine file so because this we are using the custom engine file so this is not yolo v7 this is best.engine file now let's run it again and you can see our detection is happening perfectly fine and the model is now detecting our roller let's wait for the car to be also detected and the car is also being detected perfectly fine so this confirms that you can run YOLO v7 tiny custom model converted into a TensorRT engine on Jetson Nano and this seems to be working perfectly fine so I guess that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel